Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So on the Ethereum chart, I just want to focus on the shorter time frame price action because nothing happened on the bigger time frame. It's currently following the idea that we are going to see one more tiny low here, maybe. Yeah. I mean, if it has already bottomed, then we're looking not at an A, B, C structure, but instead we would be looking at a W, X, Y structure. Now, to establish possible targets, so first of all, let's talk about the microstructure. We talked about, okay, wave A, wave B, overshooting B wave. Um, I added that micro count yesterday. And then here, a wave one to the downside, a wave two to the upside, a wave three to the downside, a wave four, and a wave five, okay? This works out nicely with regards to the proportions as well. Mm, a bit different to Bitcoin, where the wave one, two here is very short, but hey, it works out nicely here, especially. Um, now, at the moment, because of the reaction to the 38.2 retracement at 18.79, which is an ideal target for a wave four, and the corrective price action to the upside, another low is currently expected in wave five of C of two. I'm currently watching the area between 18.02 and 17.61, but we can refine that a little bit more. So this is currently um, the idea one, I mean, the minimum expectation is for it to make a low below the third wave low. So below 1830. Now that is the minimum expectation. And in terms of what it needs to do, um, obviously it needs to drop below, first of all, 1843, which is the last swing low, and then a break below the third wave low would do the trick and fulfill the minimum expectations for wave five. But um, obviously we've got the Fibonacci retracements to look at, and I just told you 1802 to 1760 is certainly an area I watch. Plus we can look at further um, possible Fibonacci relationships, wave relationships to establish some more likely targets. One way of doing it is to take the length of the wave one, then we go to the high of the wave, um, sorry, no, we take the length of the A wave, we go to the high of the B wave, yeah, and so, and one where you typically say it's the maximum for such an uh, expanded flat is the 2.618 extension. That's 1844. That was already reached. So that's interesting. Um, well, with maximum, there isn't really a maximum, right? There is sort of a theoretical maximum where you say, okay, it shouldn't really extend. But crypto markets are rather new, have a lot of volatility. So if we look at an, an extension level that makes sense here, it would be 1825, the next one, the 300% extension. But in the current environment, because it would go beyond, beyond the 2.618 extension, which is normally deemed the maximum, I think maybe another way of looking at it is more relevant. So we take the other method. How do you calculate the length of a wave five in, a, in an impulse? Well, you can take the length of waves one and three, and you go to the high of the wave four. And then also here we get to 1825, the 38.2 extension, certainly a level to watch, especially if we look at the Fibonacci extension, the 300%, it's also 1825. So there's a bit of confluence there. And then we've got 1802, of course, as I said, and the 61.8 FIB extension at 1790. So in summary, that means I would pay attention to 1825, 1802 and 1790 first when we come down here in a wave five. Now, of course, um, is there a guarantee we come down? Of course not. But at the moment, it seems likely because price is below resistance. I mean, it's a bit squeezed between support and resistance, but the move up of the Friday low or Thursday low is very, very corrective. Sideways consolidation after a downtrend suggests continuation. And um, at the moment, it seems reasonable to expect um, one more low. Now, if it suddenly turns around and gives us five waves, five waves, an impulse, yeah, ideally, above 1895, then we would say probably it has already bottomed, but then it would be a WXY structure. That's the signal level. That's the signal level that would um, that would make us assume that price has already bottomed in wave two here, um, and then it will move up uh, already, right, in the third wave. That's the that's the um, that's the idea. There are two two ideas. So either one more low and then go up, or um, go up directly, but I have no evidence for that at this stage. Yeah, so I need evidence. So from that point of view, trend continuation currently preferred. And then we take it from there and see how it reacts to support. Okay, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.